Well, Gary, it's, it's this welding overhead that I'm concerned with. That's got to be really difficult. No, it's not tough at all. As a matter of fact, overhead welding can be easy. Now, everybody thinks it's tough because of your position of your body, but it's not true. If you remember some of the rules that I just taught you on vertical upwelding, you'll find out that I'm going to take those same rules and I'm going to take them into the overhead position. Oh, okay. Now, what I want you to do is remember a couple of these very small rules. And one of them is this, that you will have an angle of about 20 degrees off of the bottom plate. I want you to start at the end of the plate, whip out, let the puddle solidify, come back in, deposit your next ripple. Whip out, come back and deposit your next ripple. I see. All right, so you see that what you just learned in the vertical up position is exactly the same in the overhead position. I imagine, Gary, these overhead and vertical techniques uh, require a lot of practice. Yes, they do, especially if you want smooth, strong welds. Well, what do you think about all this? Well, I can see it's not difficult, but it does take a lot of practice. Yeah, and you better pay attention to safety all the time, too. Right, right. Is, is there a lot more to learn? Oh, yeah. We've only scratched the surface. You've got cast iron electrodes. You've got stainless steel electrodes. You've got electrodes for welding galvanized steel. And of course, we got hard facing electrodes for metal to resist different types of wear. And then I haven't even begun to touch on the carbon arc torch yet. I see what you mean. But the material you've learned to do today, Bill, is going to enable you to do a lot of different things around the garage, assuming you continue to practice. Oh, I'll keep practicing. Hey, I'm, I'm really enjoying this. Good, Bill. We'll get together again next week and learn some of these more advanced techniques. Great. Hey, well, thanks a lot, Gary. I really